Hey guys, my name is Rico Richardson. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about helping you guys editing your photos and videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to manually change the lens distortion. Let's go. And for that, we're going to use this JPEG, which I've brought into Darktable. I took this image with a 7 Artisan 7.5 mm f2.8 lens. And what I did was I grabbed the still from the video and then I've imported it into Darktable. And I did that on purpose because that way Darktable won't recognize any lens profiles or the camera that it's been shot on, etc. So let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the lens corrections module. We're going to activate it. And you see that we don't see a camera and we don't see a lens and we can't change anything. So let's pick a camera first. And for that, we're going to use the generic one. I'm going to use the crop factor of two because this was shot on a micro four thirds camera, the Panasonic G85. So I'm going to click that one and now I can select a lens. And for that, I'm going to use a Panasonic one and I'm going to use the seven to 14 millimeters. It's a wide angle lens, but let me show you guys what happens. So here you see that the distortion is already starting to fade out, but we're going to change some things around. I'm going to manually fill in the focal length, which is eight millimeters. It's seven and a half, but we don't have seven and a half. So I'm going to round it up upwards. So I'm going to pick eight. I'm going to use the f-stop of 11 and not going to change the distance to target. Here you see that this is distance to subject. I'm going to keep that on a thousand. And corrections, we're going to keep that on all. We've got several options, distortion and TCA, distortion and vignetting, TCA and vignetting, only distortion, only TCA and only vignetting. So I'm going to pick all and I'm going to change and here comes the magic, the Ricti linear to fisheye. And now you'll see that it's starting to look even worse as a fisheye, but we're going to change the mode from correct to distort. And boom, now the image is nice and straight. And you can't really tell that this has been shot with a fisheye lens. We can zoom the scale out by moving this to the right. So here you see the image, which has been altered. And we can change the scale again to the left to zoom in. And if we do that, all we gotta do is make sure we don't see any black bars anymore. And there you go. 